retail arbitrage, you know, you're going to be buying stuff from, from, you know, your regular stores like TJ Maxx and all that stuff, Ross, regular toy stores, regular stores. Like, I found stuff in stores, like in toy, one specifically, I'm referring to one in toy stores. It was a Naruto statue. I found two of them. They were $29 each after all this, uh, all the, everything else, uh, add plus tax. So, and then I bought both. They both sold right away as soon as they hit Amazon, 190 bucks. They sold like a, like a couple days apart, basically. So, so, um, you know, you can find stuff everywhere that you go. It doesn't matter, garage sale. I found my biggest flip ever c came from a garage sale. Basically, I found these brand new occupancy light switches that for professionals for basically someone like a for a restaurant would need them because they're there's occupancy sensor light bulbs they turn on and turn off when people come in and come out and so um they're they have to be spe specific kinds and so basically i found 12 of these asked the guy hey a buck a peach a piece you know he says sure no problem boom 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 this took a long time to sell I'll be honest with you we're not selling ebay Put it on Amazon. About a month later, they just started chain going off like crazy, and and in like two months, they had it all sold. And it, I ended up grossing seven hundred and sixty three dollars on that, and then that was from a twelve dollar investment, and then me being patient and just holding on to them. Um, so you you never want to give up, you know. So so can you can you buy, find stuff at I would suggest if you're looking into this, one, research and read as much as possible. If you don't have anyone successful around you, don't hang around anyone. R hang around people on YouTube that are successful. Only hang around the people that are going in the same direction that you want to be. If they, if success is not where people they want to go, then you cannot associate with these people. These people will just hold you down, drag you down. You're gonna all you're gonna deal with is naysayers, especially once you start getting results. Once you start getting results, the jealousy comes, and all kinds of other thing comes, and 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 then you, you it's a whole another thing, and 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 it just gets bigger, you know, the more that you go along. So you have to realize is that, you know, sometimes having no friends, cause I I go through it. I have very few friends, very few, very few people I trust. Very few people people even even know like what I am my, what my next move or no one really knows what my next move is. It's probably my, my, it's my fiance is probably the closest that she'll ever gonna see to that. Is is she knows more more than anyone else, you know? And even to her, what goes on up here is just can be crazy. My plans and the way that I put things together and stuff, and I just don't always 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 putting new businesses together that work within what I'm continue, you know, already doing, which is just resell. Like I do resell of all kinds, you know. When I when I started reselling, I started as a little kid buying, you know, pet, pet or, or uh it was Raven's Revenge. I would buy Raven's Revenge from the liquor store guy. I would go there, um haggle with him. You know, use my lunch money and, and not lunch money and allowance and stuff like that. And then I would then take that money and I would get it and I would flip it and I would cycle it up. Then when kids' interest changed and I would also use too because kids would give up stuff that, you know, is valuable for, for they didn't ha understand value. So someone would sell me like if I would give a kid something, I would give a kid five dollars for a game that's worth like 30 or 40 dollars because this kid doesn't have the any value of money because his parents bought it you know what i mean type thing so i would do that all the time even just at a young age i just had it and i would i would get in trouble here and there um you know i recently talked to my dad about it and he said it was i was just they didn't want me being a distraction back then entrepreneur wasn't like a popular thing it was like it was like you know no one you know, Facebook hadn't blown up yet. Like, Amazon was barely anything. You know what I mean? And I was selling on Amazon. I was buying kids video games, like, that their parents bought them. Like, I remember this, like, brand new video game just came out. This thing was so expensive. I wish I could remember the name. 
and and kids sold it to me for like a couple bucks and i remember it sold it sold for some ridiculous price like and and i would have this happen all the time all the time and then and then so then i just basically started doing stuff like that th for a while while maintaining many 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 different jobs i've had about 29 jobs um actual jobs that you know were on payroll earned a check from and if you then count side hustles businesses um on top of that it that brings the total up to 46 i am 31 years old and i've um officially had 29 different jobs and then on top of that uh that's a set like 17 side hustles slash businesses i was starting businesses at a very young age um you know you know no, my first official business like real business was building which i i consider it real because it was more money than i had ever made you know i grossed like 39 grand out of my parents garage basically doing selling guitars muddy blues box guitars you, you can still look it up on instagram it's still there muddy blues box guitars all one word and um <clears throat> basically what i did was i started one, I had this drive that I was going to build something. I always liked building things. And um, so I started collecting wood, kept finding wood. And one day, we, uh, my, my, girl, my girl, who I'm still, still with now, and basically she goes, like, wants to go to the store in Fullerton. So we end up going by this music shop, and there's a dulcimer. I didn't know what this dulcimer was, and it was being advertised as a strumstick, not a dulcimer. So basically, I was I was I was like, this is cool because it was open tuned and it was had the spacing. You couldn't hit a wrong note. And I was like, I could I think I could build something like this. So I I I basically started. I was like, I'm gonna make a stick with three strings and a pickup in it, and I did. Uh, it broke because of the tension, but it worked for a short period of time, and it was badass as hell, and it sounded really cool. And then, um, then my second one, what I made, I still have, it's over right there in the corner, and I'll probably never, I'll never get rid of it. And, um, then I ended up, then from then point, making over 280, I sold them all over the world, uh, you know, made all different kinds, made custom, then then started making tenor guitars, ukuleles, six string guitars, you know, solid body guitars, I um all of that kind of stuff and it branched into a whole business. I would then and then I I was I was uh you know buying all my parts wholesale so I'd resell and I was I was doing reselling the parts, I was reselling the tail pieces, I was reselling every last bit. So if I was buying it from my business, I was also reselling it and it was becoming part of a side business. So I just had this just big thing at, at the same time. You know, and what I suggest, what I learned is that, you you know, you start at one point, get really good, branch out, and you need to start branching out as soon as you can and you have the money and the funds. You branch that out as much as profit as, pro as possible because um, you want to start planning for it's not all every month is not going to be a good month. And and, you know, you want to make sure that you basically are positioning yourself to know lots of different things and have lots of different avenues of income because as long as you have that you know um thing when things happen basically you're you're going to be fine because because you're you're going to be prepared essentially or you're going to be insulated from it basically that's what i'm saying so um yeah all those all those things and i'll be speaking more about this further tell me what you want to learn about um in in the comments do you like this video let me know if you want to learn more about ebay or macari i love macari right now um let me know and uh so helpful hustlers signing off everyone have a great day talk to y'all later